Hey everyone, how's it going today? Coach Alvarez here, back at you another episode of Coffee with Coach. Hope you're all doing well. Got the mind in the right place. If not, as always, let's put it in the right place. So, got some fire for you today. So, uh, find a new uh, little clip, little episode, Andy Priscilla in his podcast. He's talking to some other guys um, on his team, and he has uh, a Navy SEAL guy um, that's talking uh, in this conversation that they're having. They're just having a conversation about executing, uh, getting things done, making things happen. And <clears throat> this Navy SEAL guy, um, he's talking about he was a guy that was um, he was a guy that went and put the explosives on, you know, the door or whatever it is that they were trying to breach to get to the next um, position that they had to get to. Um, he was that guy and he was talking about how he was kind of explaining how he would go and put the explosives on the door or whatever the case may be. And he'd peel the thing off and then he'd set everything up, get back a certain, uh, a certain amount of space to give it, um, like a safety zone. And he's talking about, um, as he looks back at his team, they're just waiting on him to execute. They're waiting on him for the, cause he said he'd give the three words would be execute, execute, execute. And on the third execution, these guys knew that it was time. It was it was go time, right? And so he was talking about um, his everyday life. When he gets up in the morning, his routine, um, whether you want to do it or not want to do it, uh, it has to get done. You have to execute. And he says, because I'm, I'm listening to this as I'm lifting weights, right? So I already got my workout in. And he says, if you don't execute, if you don't get things done, all right, you cheat yourself, you cheat your friends, your family, your team, like whatever part of your, your team is in, you can just use uh, your jujitsu team or your, your team at work, um, and uh, you know just everyone around you, you cheat them because you're not getting the things done that you're supposed to get done. He goes, it's bigger than you, man. And the way he said that, with that, that tone and that expression, it just got me fired up because it's true. I've mentioned these these this kind of thing on these episodes before. It's bigger than you. So many people are selfish um, in so many ways that all they care about is themselves. They all they care about is is how they feel. Well, what about <clears throat> what about everyone one else's um, feelings and how how that's gonna what you don't get done today impacts so many people, and what you do get done today impacts so many people. So when you lose, everyone else around you loses. If you win, everyone else around you starts to win. It's just the way it goes. And he says, I think about this every single morning. Because these guys are there, they're, they're like at a at a table. They're you know, in a you know, kind of circled up and they're talking and they're talking about these are very successful individuals. They got a lot of money, businesses, multiple businesses, private jets, all these things. And they're just talking like regular human stuff like you know i get up in the morning and i don't want to do the things that I, I don't want to do you know i'm tired i'm this that you know a lot of stress from all the things that they got going on in life like we all do you know and he goes but we just get things done because we know that the triple down the, the trickle down effect on if we don't get things done how that affects so many other people you know and and if you do get things done, what that impact has on other people. So for those individuals that are more on the selfish end, you need to start being more unselfish. You need to get up and think about the people around you. You know, the people that, um, because everyone has someone that looks up to you in some, some kind of way, you know. And when you start losing, um, you know, they'll start losing um you know, I wouldn't say respect, but some faith, maybe, you know, or lose it, stop looking to you for that, 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 uh, that thing for whatever it is that they look up to you for. Um, you know, you gotta have, you gotta think about the things and the people around you that, uh, that you impact. Like for me, it's way beyond my family. Like, you know, like the family thing, like that's a given, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to take care of my family. I do things because of my family, but I got so many students you know, employees, um, you know, people that come to my academy to for their for their kids to, um, you know, their self-esteem that they're dealing with or their bullying that they're dealing with or, um, 
whatever it is that they they brought their their kids to us for. Uh, so many people that I talked to uh, after the mat, uh, after class on the mat, and what they're dealing with in life. You know, so many times I get coach. How do you stay so disciplined? You know, how do you eat healthy? How do you, um, you know, how do you do whatever it is, all these questions that I have, and I can't answer these questions and I can't uh, expect them to um, take what I'm telling them to heart if I'm not actually doing these things. You know, I have to lead by example. So these things push me to just get up every day even though I don't want to do certain things, certain workouts or certain whatever it is that needs to get done, I have to get them done because too many people depend on me. It's a lot of pressure, it's a lot of weight on your shoulders, but at the end of the day, you just start to kind of accept like that's just the position that you have and that's what, what, what needs to get done. But not enough people hear these things, not enough people listen to this kind of stuff. You know, you get up and I don't feel like going to work today, so you don't go to work today. You get up, I don't feel like working out today. So you don't work out today. You don't get your running. You don't go to jujitsu class. You don't go to whatever it is that you're supposed to do. You don't go and do that. That affects people. That only just affects you and probably your paycheck and probably your health and whatever else. It affects so many other people, you know, um, you know, like with our team, you know, it, it impacts people. Like, you know, once you start training with us and you get to know people and people get to know you, in all our classes, 6 a.m., 10, 30, 7 p.m., like whatever class it is, kids' classes, like people are expecting you to come to class. And if you don't show up, you're missed, you know. But after a while, you know, that being missed becomes less and less because, okay, well, they're in, I guess they're not coming back. You know, we used to enjoy being around this person. We used to enjoy their company, their conversations, the the sweat that they used to give us, the, the challenge that they give us, and now they're no longer here. So they look to someone else for those challenges and those, those conversations after class or before class, whatever the case may be. Um, and you should never want to give that up, you know? So you definitely make an impact in some kind of way with a friend, a family member, teammate at work, um, somewhere you, you're, you're important and you taking care of yourself is important. You getting the things done that you're supposed to get done are very important because like he says in this thing I'm listening to, if you cheat yourself, you cheat everyone else around you. And I used to say, where I've said before in the other episodes that I've done, when you lose, everyone else loses. If you get up and you're not taking care of your health, your health is priority. It's the number one thing. My health comes before my family, becomes comes before my students, my team, my business, everything. Because if I don't have good health, if I'm not... Right now, I can't run because of my knee, but I was running all these years. I was running, so now I'm lifting weights like six days a week. If I'm and I'm training for what I can, I'm like 75 80 percent right now. If I'm not taking care of myself and eating healthy and getting these workouts in and getting these training sessions in and getting the sweat in, the things that make me feel good about myself, the things that make me look and feel good mentally and physically, um, I can't help anyone else because I'm not even helping myself. You know, how am I supposed to help the people, all these students that come up to me and ask me all these questions on how to be better, not just in jujitsu, but in other things in life. Um, how am I supposed to help them with that? You know, if I'm not taking care of myself, you know, if I'm not taking care of my finances, if my finances are poor, and I mean, you know, I'm in debt and I got all kind of credit cards and I can't pay them off and um, I'm going backwards and that kind of thing. No, I have a lot of students that come to me for that kind of financial advice because I got that stuff on point. I got my health on point. I got my mental health on point. I got everything on point because it has to be that way. And when you do things like that, not only does it feel good, but you can, you can feel good or know that when you're giving advice or when you're helping people, like, it's, it's the right information. It's going to, it's going to help them and take them in a different direction because there's so many people that I gave information to that are still with me that aren't with me. And that stuff is still paying dividends. Just a conversation after class or some type of tip or advice that I've given them, um, is still paying off to this day. And then there's some that didn't take the advice. So of course it's not paying off, but, um, how are you feel your feelings and your emotions don't matter. You know, I see, Post. I'm looking at this other phone. I got 
three phones. So I, I see people's posts. I pay attention to people's social media posts all the time. So many people whine and complain and moan and just don't get things done. They're not motivating anyone. You know, all they're doing is making a pity party on social media and here comes their friends or whoever else that's not happy and poor health and whatever else. And, you know, it, it's it's not a good thing. We need more people out there. Uh, you know, I got a, a student of mine. Actually, I made a, a episode the other day and uh, about your friends helping you win or lose. And I got a lot of good feedback on that. And I got a lot of feedback of like, yeah, that's what I'm exactly going through right now is I'm trying to win in life and they're not. So I'm separating myself. And so you're losing some friends or family members and, and you're inspiring other people and they're getting the other people are getting upset with you because you're not doing the lazy average thing that you were doing before. And, uh, you know, that rubs people the wrong way, but you're inspiring the other people to get into better health, to get in better financial situation, to get into a better whatever better situation. Um, I love videos like that. I got some people out there, oh man, you shouldn't post your workouts, posting your, um, uh, you know, your, your meal preps all the time. Like pe some people hate that. Like how, why would you hate that? You know, they're only hating it because they're too lazy to do it. Their health is poor. They, they eat cheeseburgers and fries all the time, you know, chicken wings and, and just beer and alcohol, you know, just things that aren't going to help them win. They're just cheating themselves, so they're cheating everyone else around them. But then the other people that aren't cheating themselves, they are winning, they are getting after it, you know, they're inspiring other people to do that. So for those of you out there that are making these videos and they're posting your, your uh, you're showing your meal preps and you're, you're showing how you're losing weight, you know, um, you know, you're showing the pictures of yourself or the before and after of what you used to look like and what you look like now and it's so much better and you're so much healthier, you know, that'll piss a lot of people off because they're just too lazy to do that. But then the other people are like, hey, you know what? They're looking at themselves and they're like, I think I'm, I'm tired of being like this. I don't want to be like this no more. I do want to have, I want to look better and feel better about myself. I want to be healthier. I want to live longer. I want, I don't want my, you know, I don't want to have a stack of credit cards like this that, that I'm paying interest on and I'm, stuff that I'm probably not even using or wearing anymore. I want to have like no debt you know, as far as like, cause there's good debt and bad debt, but I'm talking about like clothes and just silly stuff that you, people buy because their emotions got the best of them and they just felt like it, they needed to feel good about themselves. So they go buy something and then they don't pay it off in the first 30 days. And so they're, they're paying more for, for it than when they first bought it. And then they probably don't even wear it, so on and so forth. They got those people, right? And you got the other ones that are like doing all the good things keep showing the good things, keep putting good things out there because we need more of it. We got enough negative stuff out on the news and social media. We need more people that are winning, doing good things. So the more you win, the more everyone else wins. And then like this guy says that I'm listening to, when you cheat yourself, you're cheating everyone around you, man. Like it kills me to see people like sometimes um, if they didn't have the right mentorship growing up or the right parenting growing up, they repeat the cycle and they're the same person or that the people that raised them or they brought them up are. Break the mold, break the cycle, be different. Like, like show them how it's supposed to be done, you know? And if you don't have kids yet, at some point you will, you want to be ready to show them the right path, not repeat the cycle of generational losing, you know? So it just got me fired up because when I was hitting the weights and I'm listening to this stuff and he's just like, man, it's bigger than you. It's bigger than you. And he says, when you lose or when you cheat yourself, you cheat everyone else around you. And that's just straight fire. All right, guys, got to go catch you guys on the next one.